In June 2022, I travelled to France, to Clermont-Ferrand. It's right in the middle of the country. It's in the Auvergne region and it's surrounded by extinct volcanoes. It's kind of hard to get to, just like this book is hard to open. Huh? It's an accordion sketchbook and I never know where, where it starts. Okay, so this was my first sketch in the airport. Now this is the slightly swankier part of Charles de Gaulle, the bit that you have to hop in a vet to get to. And I loved sitting there and drawing the different people in blues and browns to keep everything nice and simple. And I really enjoyed drawing that little bit of, of fountain in the middle as well. If you look closely, you'll notice that I really darkened up the background behind the fountain and then I left some areas white and I used my white gel pen to get those little dots of water. It's very effective. These are my wonderful hosts, Tazab and Sylvie. That's his wife, Sylvie. And Tazab is a wonderful artist. And this is Tazab drawing me up at the mountains surrounding the Auvergne. We went for a swim in the roasting hot evening. It was really lovely. So the volcanoes have got all these craters in the middle. And some of them have turned into lakes and you can just swim out into the middle. It's fabulous. And it's surrounded by all these, um, it's surrounded by a little path. And as you walk along the path, there's loads of loutish looking types drinking beer and you sort of expect them to be loutish and then they go bonsoir, bonjour and they're all very very refined and polite and it's very French and it's very lovely. So I tried to get the reflection of the tree in the water. I don't know if I if I got it exactly. Now the next morning I made a wrong call. I decided to go for a walk up into the uh, village surrounding my host's home outside Clermont Ferrand. Um, and unfortunately, it was way too hot to be enjoyable. And there was only one little cafe open. That's why I managed to get that drawing of my cup of coffee in. And not alone that, but I got lost because I couldn't figure out my GPS because I couldn't get my data working on my phone because I was on one of those cheap plans. Serves me right. Um, and I got lost and I ended up in a vineyard full of little old men in plaid shirts snipping grapes which was very sweet but I wished I had a straw hat and a bit of shade of a grapevine because it was so hot. Meanwhile I had been invited to a lovely museum by the father of my host which I turned down because I was going for a walk which was a really really bad call. So there you go you win some you lose some. Well not to worry the following evening I went out for an apéro, apéritif, with Tazab and all his pals. Now, that's not Tazab and his pals. That is a random trio whom I drew because I felt a little bit shy, a little bit intimidated, because even though my French is really rather competent, you know, when you're surrounded by people who you don't know, you've only just met, and they're all rattling away in a language that isn't your first language, well, it can be a little bit intimidating, especially when they're all sketching each other and making a wonderful job of it. So I concentrated on the contents of the table. I really enjoyed drawing the glassware and the little bit of saucisson and the fromage and all the rest of it. Now, the man does look like he has a fake leg made out of wood resting against the underside of the table. But there you go. I'm afraid that's on me. Now, the next day was the first day of my three workshops and I was introducing the students to drawing people in a cafe in an urban setting. So we have three monsieur here. That's, I think, the plural of monsieur, but I'm not sure. I always feel a little bit intrusive when I'm drawing people from the table next to them. And I do try to be as unintrusive as possible. I needn't have worried. They not alone didn't notice me drawing them, but even if they did, they didn't pay me the slightest bit of attention. Now, a little word about that straw on the far right. If you give it an offset, that's all you have to do to make it look like it's in a glass. So there you go. It's a good tip. Now, it was very hot and I was really trying to get the, the effect of the trees in the deep shade on the other side of the square. I think if I was doing it again, I would probably draw the really dark trees in black ink. But you get the general idea of sunshine and heat. So... It's okay, it's not too bad. By afternoon, the heat had steadily increased. So we spent the afternoon in the shade of a massive tree in the local park, where I showed the students how to capture the effect of a fountain 
splashing on the surface of a pond. But the main point of that particular afternoon was to capture the look of the light hitting the people in the park. Now, the people I drew were a little on the uncooperative side and they kept escaping before I'd finished them. But on the whole, I think the guys got the idea. On one of the evenings, there was a party for all the participants and all the tutors and the organisers. And it was a really nice party. They had this band called the Bluegrass Social Club. Um, great guys, great singers. Now, I decided to draw them in action because it's fun to draw musicians. Here's me sketching away and you needn't make any comments about the very pink colour of my very hot face. Thanks. And I kept my palette quite tight, as you can see. So we have Bastien on the left, and then we have Michel, which says Parti. And then we have Eric on the... Parti means he's gone, he's nipped away. He was on the violin, but he left. Eric on the double bass, Jeff on the banjo, and then we have Clementin on the something or other. And then we have Olivier on the harmonica, Ben on the something patrick on the guitar and the very beautiful banna banna oh my goodness she was this gorgeous girl in a red jumpsuit and masses of long lustrous dark brown hair now i didn't catch her beauty at all which was a great pity but i did get all the plaid shirts they clearly had decided that everyone was going to wear a plaid shirt for the band and unfortunately bastien didn't have a plaid shirt and neither did eric on the double bass and i don't know if michelle had one because he's parti, but uh, they were great guys. So the next day we went to um, Parc Vulcania, which is this really odd theme park where they've recreated a volcano in the middle of a actual volcanic crater that you can look at. But anyway, they've done this interpretive center. Now it wouldn't be to my liking in case you haven't guessed that already. Um, and I, I do counsel you not to go. But it does have a lovely forest surrounding the park. And I took my students there to try and capture some dappled light on the bushes. And that would have been that, except for one last wonderful day. It was a Sunday and Tazab and I and Tazab's friend Fabien and Juliette, both of whom were teachers in Clermont this scene as well. We went up into the hills and we sat by a river and we sketched and we bathed. And as I lay in that water, I thought of all the hundreds of years of people who have lain in that water, just like I was doing. I don't know, it was kind of a nice thought. Well, that brings me to an end of this little, this little sketchbook tour of my time in Clermont-Ferrand on a beautiful, hot June week last year. I'm going to leave you with a few clips from my trip. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.